morning y'all it is march 11th and we just got dropped off at carver's gap so we're hiking i think it's like a 14 point something to um roan mountain tennessee and um they're going to station 19e i am going to the harbor mountain bed and breakfast and then tomorrow we're going to get dropped off here again hike southbound to iron mountain where we started yesterday i know it's confusing but once after this we'll be done doing all this weird um slacking and stuff but yeah i think today's gonna be amazing i know this is an amazing part of the trail and i'm definitely looking forward to it and it is a little overcast right now but it's supposed to be a nice day it's not just a slight chance of rain so yeah um i think it's gonna be a beautiful day and I'm going to get to hiking and I will get back with y'all. All right. Hey y'all, so I've hiked about six miles so far. Man, what a beautiful day it has turned into. It is just absolutely gorgeous. I mean, this is another one of those just beautiful, perfect days. Um, so I love, right now, I love the um, people I'm hiking around. You know, you, I have Sugar Daddy, who you can't help but love, and Deacon, cooler, older guy, laid back guy, Dreamer. Um, who I just passed. He's super awesome guy. I mean, he's one of my favorites. He's the same guy I hiked with in the snow that time. And then you have, um, AKA you have, uh, ugly sticks, um, chopsticks, of course, great guy, man. I love hiking around all these people. We did have goodwill, but he's going to go home. I'm going to miss him. I am, but yeah, man, I really enjoy all the people I'm hiking around here right now. It's really, they're really just super awesome people. All of them are going to Station 9 um, today. I'm the only one going to the um, Arbor Mountain bed and breakfast. But <laughs> we'll see what happens. I've heard good things about both, so I'm not really sure. But right now, I am going to be hiking up Little Hump Mountain and then Hump Mountain. And once I get those climbs over, the pretty decent climbs, I'm going to... Then it's just a straight down to... Uh, I can't remember the highway where we get picked up to go into Roan Mountain, Tennessee, where both of those uh, hostels are at. 
So yeah, but man, what a beautiful day. I just can't say enough good things about today. Yep, so I'm going to keep on hiking and get these climbs out of the way and I will get back with y'all. All right. Hey y'all, wow, wow, that's all I can say. This section is amazing. Man, so in 2016, I had camped out down at Over Mountain Shelter. And um, man, I would, I meant to go down there and show that um, barn, but somehow I just passed it. I wasn't even paying attention, but it doesn't matter. Um, but in 2016, so I camped out at that Over Mountain Shelter. And then overnight, there was like, 30 mile per hour wind gusts I think 30 to 35 it was insane and um, I think it was even higher up here so when I hiked out and did this section it was just it was just like blow I mean the wind was blowing you right off the top and it must have been like eight degrees with wind chill it was just brutal so I just hauled butt through this section but today is absolutely wonderful perfect a slight breeze it's actually warm like I'm actually thinking about taking off my tights um, but I, I hate stopping and doing that but man I mean ah, this section is amazing just so beautiful and that was just little hump mountain I still have hump mountain to go on and um, but man I, I can't remember if it's as amazing as little hump but man I mean I'm blown away. I just, wow, what, man, what a perfect day to hike a perfect section. Man, I am truly, truly blessed. All right, y'all, I will get back with y'all. All right.
Hey y'all, so I made it up over Hump Mountain. I humped up it and back down and it was tough. Pretty tough climb. Those climbs where you can see where you're going all the way up, man, I don't know what it is. It's psychological to me. That's why I think the PCT would be rough for me because I know a lot of it you can just see forever where the trail goes. But y'all, I apologize for all the views I'm giving you. I know it might just be overstimulation, but I just can't help it. I mean, this is, it's 100% pure eye candy. I mean, it's, it just keeps going and going and doesn't stop. Man, this section is amazing. I, in 2016, I just rushed through it because it was so cold and windy and man i just don't remember it being this gorgeous i just don't i mean this has to be one of the best sections on the whole at it has to be i i don't know i just man i'm just blown away i am blown away today Hey y'all, so as you saw that sign, I just made it into Tennessee from here on out on this trail. I will just be in Tennessee. The trail no longer goes along the border of North Carolina, Tennessee. Now it just turns into Tennessee and stays there until you get to Virginia. Um, but of course, tomorrow I'm picking, we're picking up that section. We're going to slack it southbound from Carver's Gap to Iron Mountain. Um, so tomorrow I'll still be in North Carolina some. But after that, once I um, leave the, um, what is it? Whatever that highway is down there that the um, 19, Station 19E and Arbor Mountain Bed and Breakfast is. Um, once I leave that, I'll just be in Tennessee um, from then on out until I get to uh, the Virginia-Tennessee border. And then right after that, uh, Damascus. And then I won't have much. I probably only have a couple weeks left after that. Hmm. It's weird. I mean, I've been out here forever. You'd think I'd want it to be over, but I don't know. There's a big part of me that doesn't, but there's a part of me that does too. I don't know. It's weird. Anyways, man, I, I just can't stress it enough. This day is just gorgeous. It's just gorgeous in that section. Man, I'm not going to lie. I was tearing up the whole time just because it's just so beautiful, man. It just gets to me. Whew. Yep, it is a beautiful trail for sure. Well, let me get to hiking. Three more miles till I get to that highway where we get picked up. And when I get there, I will get back with y'all.
All right. Hey y'all, so I made it to US 19E. You can see it's a pretty major highway. A um, lot of traffic, lots of trucks. You can see this one coming through. So I guess I gotta call that Mountain Arbor Bed and Breakfast. I'm kind of conflicted because everybody I know is going to the station 19E and no one is going to the um, Mountain Arbor Bed and Breakfast, so. I don't know I'm kind of conflicted like I feel like maybe I should just go to the station 19e It'd be fun to be around like cause I like everyone I'm hiking around with a lot um, but I called that mountain arbor yesterday and reserved a bed so I probably should just go there and take the bed yeah I don't know I don't know I'm gonna sit here and uh, think about it for a minute I mean, I guess the right thing to do would be to take that bed since I reserved it, but does it really matter? I don't know. Well, I will get back with y'all when I decide where I'm gonna go and uh, you will find out when I get back with you. All right. Hey y'all. So I decided to go with Mountain Harbor Hostel. So I went to station 19E and looked in the bunk room and it was okay, but it was just a giant room with tons of bunks, like 28 bunks. So I decided to come here and check this out. And um, man, Dave's a super cool guy. But um, yeah, so this hostel is pretty cool, pretty cool. Um, I'm going to give you all a tour real quick, all right? As you see up there, that's the main house. And that is the food wagon right here. Um, but... It's closed right now, but it's open during like peak hiker season. Um, and so this is the general store over here. It has every resupply you need. And this is the barn right here, AT sign. And this is where the um, hiker hostel is. So let's go inside. Three washers and three dryers. Okay, so for when you first come in, as you can see, they have area with all the coffee, and then they have microwave and toaster ovens, and they have a little um, picnic bench right there, cool little seat, and they have a fridge you can keep stuff in. You can see there's stuff in there, and there's a TV over there, and then... There's an ice machine here. A lot of this stuff's closed because it's early right now. But then, so you have the menu here um, for the food truck. And you can see all the stuff comes up. But the food truck's not open yet, unfortunately. And so over here is all the seating um, just to sit and eat. And there is another TV right there. Okay, so now we're going to go upstairs. And that's where the living area is. And look at this cute little girl. girl. Hello. You are pretty. And she is the resident of the hostel. She's a mouse hunter. So we go up the stairs. And you can see there's towels. And then this is the room I'm staying in. It's, there is a door closed. I have it propped open. So you go in here and there's just two beds. You can see my backpacks there. Yeah, so it's just two beds, but I like it. So this is the bathroom. 
turn on the light in here. So, shower, pretty basic bathroom. Then we go into this main area. And so this is another bathroom in here. I don't see where the light is. But anyways, it's just a bathroom, shower, toilet, everything you need. Then there's a cool little sink here. And this is, um, you can tell all the people, hikers sent their cards. And as you can see, a nice comfy couch. And back in here is just a single private bed, but there is someone staying in there, so I'm not going to go in there. But as you can see, there's like a little wood stove, little seating area, another TV. And they do have cable in here, by the way. And um, there's a bunk bed right there. And if when we go up here to the loft... As you can see, there are four beds up here. Really cool. And we will go out on the balcony. So this is a balcony and as you can see, and there's a nice stream flowing here. So this is 18 acres they have. You can see it goes all the way up there and back in there. And then back in here, back in there is a tree house where people can stay too. Yeah, so this hostel is super awesome. It's To me, it's a lot better than Station 19E. I mean, it's more like cozy and there's private rooms and it's not just a bunch of bunks in one area. Everyone else stayed at Station 19E, but I came here because I just, I had a feeling this place was going to be kind of like this, and it is. I really like it. Um, yeah, it's really nice. I mean, I'm happy. So, there, I'm going to order some Mexican food. There's a Mexican restaurant, and he's going to, uh, Dave, the owner's going to drive me there to um, get the food. And I'm going to eat and edit a little bit. And, um, yeah, and when um, I get done with all that stuff, I will get back with y'all. All right. Hey, y'all. So I'm going to end it for today. Man, what a day. I mean, this was one of my top 10 days, definitely, on, the, um, on this hike. Um, weather was perfect. I mean, that stretch of trail was just simply amazing. Like, um, I don't know. Like I said, I was just blown away all day. And I'm still thinking about it. I just got done um, editing the video and looking at the footage. And I was like, man, that's the cool thing about doing these videos every day. Is at the end of the day, when you're doing editing the video, it's like you relive the day very vividly. And... That's a cool thing, but man, what a cool day it was. And then I landed here at Harbor Mountain Hostel, and man, this place is amazing. I'm telling you, this is a very, very, very cool hostel. The owners are super cool. Um, I ordered a sub up the way. There's a few restaurants, and they took me right up there, and they're just super cool, down to earth, and um, yeah, man, they'll chat your... They'll chat your ears off for sure, but um, it's really great conversations. Um, yeah, man, I just, great day. and But honestly, I think it's like 9 o'clock and I've been editing and um, other stuff and I am tired. So tomorrow we are, um, Dave, the owner here, he's going to um, shuttle uh, Sugar Daddy, uh, Deacon, and me and myself to Carver, Carver's Gap, we're going to hike southbound to Iron Mountain, then we're going to get picked up and brought back, they're at Station 9E, I'm staying here, and then depending on the weather, I might take Friday off, 
yeah, Friday. Um, cause it looks like it's going to be a washout, but if not, I'll probably hike on. Yeah, but man, what an amazing day. But yeah, I need to get some sleep cause, um, I haven't been sleeping much lately. Mostly just cause I've been like, um, at the hostel socializing, going out to eat and all that, and then coming back and trying to edit. So I end up staying up a lot later, but that's okay. I mean, whatever. Um, so yeah, I am going to end it for today and I will talk with y'all in the morning. All right. <laughs>